I want to welcome you back to Black Side tonight. We're going to talk about the baby apologizing for the second time to the alphabet community. First, I would like for you to subscribe to this channel, hit that like button, hit that notification button, but also comment on this video. The baby is apologizing to the alphabet community for the second time. But I want to ask a question that no one has asked. Will the baby apologize to the black community? The alphabet community has put pressure on the baby after he came out with his rant during one of his performances. And now the, the baby is under pressure simply because he's losing money. He was canceled from Lollapalooza, but he was also canceled by three other shows across the country and across the world. The baby could have lost almost a half a million dollars because of his rant. But I want to ask everyone out there who happens to be African American, ADOS, or FBA, will this young man ever apologize to the black community for what he promotes, for what he puts in front of our youth in America? See, a lot of these rappers that some of you know and love, they speak that gangster talk. They talk about how they want to murder brothers, how they disrespect our women. And when it comes to them standing up and say, I have free speech, they cower when it comes to the gay community. They cower when it comes to the small hats. They cower when it comes to corporate America. But they raise all kind of hell in our community. They talk about pulling up on brothers, disrespecting sisters, calling them all kinds of names. But when it comes to the man, when it comes to those who happen to have power, they on bent knee. They taking that knee. You saw it with Nick Cannon. You saw it with Snoop Dogg. You saw it with so many others. Because one thing they can do, they can punish you. They can take that money away. But what they're basically telling the baby, these drill music rappers and anybody else, you could talk murder, death, hate in a black community. You could talk about killing as much as you want. But don't you say nothing about the alphabet community. And the baby, like so many others in the past, took the knee. This is what you call fear. And the alphabet community said, we'll take away your right to eat if you don't bow to us. So don't be surprised if you see the, the baby at the ADL. Don't be surprised if you see the baby in front of 10 rabbis on his knees begging for forgiveness. Don't be surprised if you see the baby being emasculated in front of America. This is what we call being buck broken. And what they're doing to every black entertainer, if you get out of line, you gonna get what the baby just got. This is sad to see, man. No other group bows as quickly as our community and our men. No one has respect for the black man simply because he kneels so quickly. If this is truly what the baby thought, he should have stand on his square. But some, some people on YouTube would say he has to. He has to apologize because he has to feed his family. So basically what everybody was saying is that no one should stand on a square if they have to feed their family. If that happened, we wouldn't have the rights that we have today. Dr. King, Malcolm, so many others that died in the past so we can have these rights. 
See, we have a community, alphabet community, that is controlling our speech, our free speech. See, that same community can say whatever the hell they want to and never be punished. Hell, they let Ed Buck run around for the last 15 or 20 years killing black men, and you know damn well that community knew what he was doing. But he was a big Democrat donor. See, to have allies, Dr. Henry Cart used to say, you must be able to punish your allies. Black people have allies, the Hispanic community, the gay community, but we can't punish them, but they can punish us, so they're not really allies. They put the tamp down on the baby. And now that you're starting to see who's on our team, you're starting to see that there's a lot of black people who consider themselves gay first and black second. And that's a big problem we have right now. But why won't the baby apologize to the black community? Because we have been taught so much to disrespect our own and hate our own and be violent towards our own. Will he do that? No. Matter of fact, his record company, his record label, will encourage him to do more. And when you complain about what he's saying, they'll say it's free speech. When it comes to violating the black community with his lyrics. But when he says those same lyrics towards another community, he must be shut down. You see how this game is being run? You can say any vile thing about another black person. But if you say it about that alphabet community, that small hat community, or any other community, you will be punished to the fullest. We'll take away your livelihood. We'll take away your records, your record label. We'll do everything. Matter of fact, we'll find a way to put, eventually put you in prison. So get ready for the the baby apology tour. Well, he, we will be marched around the country like a puppy on a leash, apologizing to everyone in sight, saying that he had bad misinformation. This is what's happening to us in modern day America. No free speech. And if you get out of line, Negro, we going to put you back in line. I want to thank you for listening to Black Sight. I hope you subscribe to this channel. Smash that like button, but also share this video.